So Gemini and Cross Watchers, this is going to be your weekly love reading for July 22nd to July 28th. Um, if you are currently subscribed to my channel, I just want to thank you so much for all the love and support. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to enter a chance to win a free 30-minute love reading with me. I choose one subscriber a month, guys, okay? So it's that, just click one time on that red subscribe button underneath the video, and be sure to also hit the bell so that if I post any readings, um, you'll get the notification, okay? If you guys are interested in viewing your free monthly love sex money and career um, readings for the month of July the links are listed in the description box below I get a lot of comments on my decks all my decks are listed in the description box below along with an Amazon link so you can uh, purchase if you'd like or just view them there this week we're going to be using the good tarot beautiful deck we have the three of wands there okay um, and I believe that's number seven on the list all right um, I am taking personal readings right now if you are a, a first-time customer you get ten dollars off your first reading with me for 30 minutes or more i don't know how long i'm going to be running that promotion so make sure you get it while it's hot guys okay um if this reading does resonate with you please be sure to like if it does not you can always reach me for a personal reading for more clarification um, as to what's going on with your specific situation um please keep in mind that it's a general reading it's not meant to you know connect with everybody if it's not your message it's just not your message guys okay all right, Gemini, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we have for you guys uh, coming the week of July 22nd. Holy Spirit, and just what messages do we have for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini? Oh, we have love, Gemini. All right. We have love and patience. Please give me the messages to have my Gemini's July 22nd to July 28th. We have the magician. We have the Queen of Earth. We could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have the Page of Air. We could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We have the Eight of Air. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Gemini's, please? We have the Messenger of Earth, Knight of Pentacles. The King of Water, we could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We have the Ace of Air, the Ace of Swords. We have the Page of Earth, a lot of Earth here, guys. Definite Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy here. Page of water, more water here. Nine of earth. We have the three of water. We have the ace of earth. And we have the four of water. We have the Four of Air. We have the Eight of Earth. And we have the Six of Air. Okay, all right, Gemini, so under the deck here, we have Temptation, oh boy. 
So coming into the third week of July, um, I feel like either you or your person are going to be facing some temptation. Is somebody going to take a bite out of that fruit? Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so we're starting here with the um, the Three of Water, which is the Three of Cups, okay? So this uh, card can represent two things. It could represent a reunion with somebody, getting back together with somebody, or it can represent um, a third-party situation, all right? So we have Love here, Lover's Card, which also is third-party situation sometimes so we might have um, a little bit of a third-party thing happening here we have the messenger of earth the knight of pentacles so this could be um, either you or your person are interested in somebody outside of the relationship and somebody here is actually making an offer okay because we have the ace of pentacles here somebody here is actually reaching out towards this person okay um you know i feel like there has been maybe an attraction here for a while and you guys have been patient uh but now you're making that move and you're following your emotions we have the king of water here okay which is an emotional king um this is also a father energy so we could be moving towards um you know uh, the mother of our children, the father of our children, if we're not with them right now, it could be moving towards um, the other person. Um, or, you know, it could just be a commitment. You know, you're moving towards, uh, you're just following your emotions. You're following your emotions and you're following your heart and moving towards this person that you're attracted to. We've got the four of water. I feel that uh, somebody here, whoever, it's, whether it's you or your person, um, they do feel bad. They do feel guilty for moving towards uh, an outside party but they're following their heart. Um, this is something that they have been manifesting, okay? Um, they can't stop thinking about this other person. The temptation is real. So we have the Ace of Air here, which is a new beginning in taking action. New beginning in taking action. Um, so the next card here is going to be the Four of Swords. We have the four of swords here so yeah this person is really thinking you know this person is really they feel bad they feel bad and um they're really just thinking they're thinking about this person though they feel bad but they can't get this person out of their mind um the third party could be a uh, a queen the third party could be a capricorn taurus or a virgo okay um, but they can't get this person off of their mind. We have the magician and the four of air here. They cannot stop thinking about this person. So this could be you, Gemini, or it could be your person. Someone here is literally obsessed with a third party. Um, we have the page of earth, which is messages coming in. Or either you're sending a message to somebody or somebody is sending a message to you. So this could be vice versa too, Gemini. You could have somebody that um, you're in a relationship and somebody is just so interested in you that they just don't care if you're in a relationship They're making that move. They're following their heart, you know We have the eight of earth here, which tells me that um, you know either you Whoever here is obsessed with the third party or another person They are going to do everything that they have to do to get to this person. They just don't care like I mean that their patience is up <laughs> And they just want to move towards this person. We have the page of air here, which is stalking I feel like this person either someone's stalking you Gemini You're stalking this person who's outside of your relationship or this could be you know your person your person can be um, the one who has their eye on someone else or someone can have their eye on your person. I know that's a little confusing. I'm sorry, but um, so it's either somebody is coming on to you while you're in a relationship, Gemini. Either you're coming on to someone else and you're in a relationship or vice versa for your partner, okay? We have the eight of air here, which means that somebody is feeling, um, oh, excuse me, I picked up the wrong card. Okay, so we have the page of water here. So again, someone is stalking and whoever this person is stalking, whoever whoever's doing the stalking, they're going to reach out and give a message of love. Okay, they're, they're reaching out there. They're getting up the courage to actually, you know, bite that fruit. We have the six of air here, which tells me that somebody is moving on to more peaceful water. Somebody is really moving towards what they want, where they find their peace. Um, they're feeling trapped where they are right now. They're feeling really trapped where they are right now, and they want to move towards what makes them happy. We have the nine of earth here, and what makes them happy is this single um, nine of pentacles. This this could be a Virgo that we're dealing with. The third party might be a Virgo, uh, but this is a single, financially stable um, person. You know, normally they're single, independent, and 
um, we have here somebody moving towards a third party. Underneath temptation, we have the six of earth. This could be a soulmate connection. Uh, it could be someone that they feel more balanced with or that you feel more balanced with. We have the wheel of fortune, which tells me that this person is going to be successful in getting what they want. Okay. Um, Queen of Water, we could be dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They see this person as very nurturing, intuitive, kind, um, you know, emotional, uh, just very caring, okay? They see this person as someone that they could be committed with. This is a mother card. This is a wifey card. So, yeah, somebody here is moving on towards what they want, Gemini. So it could be you or it could be your person, but somebody's definitely taking a bite out of that fruit. Look at that fruit there. That's the forbidden fruit, my friends, and somebody is definitely taking a chunk out of it, okay? Well, that's Mercury retrograde. We have Mercury retrograde, a lunar eclipse, and a full moon this week, so it's just been crazy for everyone, guys. Um, all right, so if this reading resonates with you, please be sure to like. Um, don't forget you get uh, $10 off your first reading with me. So if you would like more clarity um, as to who this third party person is, if it's you, if it's, you know, it's just any questions that you may have because this could go so many different ways um, and it is a general reading so if you want more clarification you can look at the description box below to book me for a personal reading and guys don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win that free 30 minute um, love reading I choose a subscriber every month okay all right Gemini take care